the glass fire erupted on September 27 and has moved rapidly across northern Napa Valley, burning structures at some of the region's most celebrated wineries. The Chronicle's wine critic Esther Mobley is on the ground and talking to locals this week to track how vineyards and wineries have fared. Already, destruction to the local wine industry far exceeds that of the 2017 fires when six wineries saw structures damaged or destroyed. Here's a list of the wineries that have been confirmed to have sustained damage so far. We'll be updating the list as we learn more. There are also wineries rumored to be destroyed but are okay, including Chardonnay favorite Rombauer Vineyards. See which ones survived here. Baron's Family Winery This boutique winery on Spring Mountain lost two buildings including its main winery that burned to the ground. Others, like the tasting room, are okay. Now playing, Burgess Cellars. The barrel warehouse and the original winery built in the 1880s have both burned. Confirmed CEO Carlton McCoy. The tasting room and house remain intact. Castello di Amorosa, a farmhouse at this favorite tourist destination was a lost it contained all of the company's wine inventory, said Vice President Jim Sullivan. Though the castle itself, an ambitious construction modeled on a medieval castle, survived. Chateau Boswell, the main building, built from hand-quarried stone, was destroyed late Sunday night. Only the stone facade remains. A collection of wines dating back to 1979 was destroyed. Fairwinds Estate Winery, buildings appear to have been leveled but the winery owner did not respond to requests for comment. Hourglass Winery, the winery facility and a 162-year-old guest house were demolished. Owner Jeff Smith said, an underground cave containing barrels of aging wine likely survived. Hunnicutt Wines, a house on the property used for offices and the winery's crush pad, which includes much of its winemaking equipment, were devastated though the winery building itself is okay, said owner Justin Stevens. Newton Vineyard, this winery, owned by luxury conglomerate Moet Hennessy Le Louis Vuitton, has been significantly impacted by the glass fire, confirmed general manager Jean-Baptiste Ravel. Sherwin Family Vineyards, this Spring Mountain winery, which Stephen Linda Sherwin started in 1996, has burned according to an email from the company. Spring Mountain Vineyard, the vineyard manager's home on the property was destroyed, and the vineyard itself experienced serious damage, confirms Vice President of Sales and Marketing Dermot Whalen. Two other buildings, including an 1873 La Perla winery, were also lost by the main winery in the historic Miravel Mansion, in part known for its appearance on 80s drama Falcon Crest were spared. Sterling Vineyards, the main winery appeared safe, but chronicle photographs show that equipment on the outdoor crush pad was charred, and another building may have sustained some damage. Tofinelli Vineyards, a 120-year-old barn and a family home, which was not currently occupied by residents, burned. Esther Mobley is the San Francisco Chronicle's wine critic. Email emobly at sfchronicle.com